Hi guys, welcome to the um, Cyber Squad uh, Skills Tech Bytes. So today we're going to talk about network firewalls and also intrusion detection systems and intrusion protection systems. When I mention firewalls, I'm sure we kind of more or less uh, familiar with um, the concept of firewalls as in protecting uh, huge castles uh, in um, mid edges and also for system to stopping people from coming through right um, during the uh, the wars and so on so the principle is a bit similar when it comes to network um, security so we have firewall which are devices stopping users from uh, infiltrating onto your network and we also have IPS intrusion prevention systems and then RDS intrusion detection systems so what is the fundamental difference between the two right because I always get asked the question should I buy a firewall network firewall or should I buy an RPS RDS? So the answer really is, you should have both. Let's see why. So again, I'm gonna draw my internet connectivity here to put a bit of context from an enterprise point of view, right? And usually at the entry point of your network, most companies, if not all, will have a firewall. So here I'm talking about a network firewall. So what exactly is this thing doing? So here we're trying to protect any network communication entering through by filtering exactly the type of connectivity you will expect. In the case of um, uh, enterprise uh, uh, systems, you will normally have what we call web transaction. So this is you doing your browsing you know, to a specific website, okay? Doing it securely, something called HTTPS. That's just the way we go ahead and browse securely. Um, using encrypted channels, right? So we can have web traffic coming in via our website, whether it's encrypted or not, right? And the firewall is going to be able to allow that transaction. So you can see here at the connectivity level, the firewall is giving those filtering. So if you were to try to connect to a different type of service within the company, the firewall is going to stop you. So usually very high speed, right? So think here as high speed okay so because you sit at the edge of your network this thing needs to be very fast right in terms of copying with a lot of connections coming through and bear in mind again i'm going to keep the simplistic view of our network so these are our back-end applications which are running on specific servers right we can call it here we can say server here to put a bit of context so user trying to access our um, specific applications we have the application sitting on the web server has to go through a firewall it's providing high speed connectivity but at the same time filtering in terms of what connectivity could come in right so that's our first line of defense but the challenge we have with this firewall is very often and a lot of them they are not very intelligent right when I say not very intelligent what I'm trying to say here is they are not really designed to cope with looking at the, what's happening inside the actual transaction, right? Some of the firewalls do, but a lot of the firewalls do not provide that intelligence. And this is why a lot of devices like IPS, IDS, right, are used. So I'm going to say here, IDS is an intrusion detection system and an IPS is an intrusion prevention. The difference is one is can only alert where the other one can actually do something about it by actually stopping the traffic well uh, if an attack is going on. This one, very passive usually, will tell you that something is happening but will not have the means to stop it where the RPS will have will see something's happening and then we can actually go ahead and do something like trigger an event that will stop that transaction from going through. So you can see here we can combine firewalls, right, to do the high speed and filtering at the network level, right, and here, the RPS is going to do a lot more intelligence, right, related to malware traffic uh, going through, related to content scanning, for example, right, and also related to non type of threat, you know, related to your network. So, this is a very specialized type of device focusing on detecting attack at network level and some of them also at the application level. So really, the question is no, if I should have a firewall or 
an RPS and RDS, most cases we need to have both. Firewall is giving us a network protection, and then our RPS giving us slightly more advanced detection when it comes to the intrusion um, at the network level and also at the application level. So fundamentally, that's the difference. But you might also have found a lot of the vendors, a lot of the um, um, uh, security products are combining this functionality where they have a firewall also providing the RPS-IDS functionality. Thank you.